in a suburban family home on the Scottish border, it's breakfast time. You're still tired. Yeah. You wanted some juice as well, Bobby. Okay, With four children under six, Paul Stevenson and his wife Carol have a busy start to the day. <coughs> but this is no ordinary family. Breakfast. What sort? Sugar. Wank. This is sweet. <coughs> Tommy Tucker, the little. <coughs> hey. Hey. <coughs> Jellyfish sex. I'm a princess, you know. Wank, <clears throat> bike. Come on, who said that? In Berwick upon Tweed, England, Paul Stevenson appears to be losing his mind. Hey, I want a race. <laughs> you did, did you? <clears throat> Paul's problems began in childhood. Doctors back then say, you know, it's his little habit, and you don't dismiss a tick as something in my personality. At the age of 45, they worsened. I started to notice it when my friend Bill passed away. When we were in the crematorium, I'd noticed a, a leg movement, and my leg kept lifting up. <coughs> hey, good God! <coughs> and I couldn't stop it. Oh, heavy. I'd been seeing doctors and they could never understand what was wrong with me. Hey, hey, this is gay. Oh, my God. One night, Paul and Carol saw a documentary about Tourette's syndrome. We noticed repetitive things I kept doing were very similar to what they'd been doing. And Carol's turned around to me and said, listen, I think you might have Tourette's. Looking back, the doctors think that I've had Tourette's all my life, just not displayed many ticks. But as to why it's come out and it's come so severe, they don't know. Tourette's is clearly a biological disorder. There are clearly abnormalities in certain parts of the brain, particularly the frontal lobe. And it's believed that there's a, a dysfunction in that part of the brain where people can't inhibit behaviors or thoughts or even vocalizations. In the last few years, Paul's physical and verbal tics have become so severe, he can't work. Oh, my word. I'm so gay. Hey, we keep our bin outside, bastards. Hey. There's not many places where people are socially accept someone that have got vocal tics like Paul's. And then the motor tics, it could quite easily knock something over, break something or drop something. Relentless ticks have put Paul's 13-year marriage under pressure. I really rely on Carol a right lot because she's my rock. And I know she's got a really hard job because sometimes my ticks are incessant, you know, negative ticks towards her. And, and I can't stop them, I can't change them. Bye. One day I just got, I kept saying whore, whore, whore. Look what? <laughs> <laughs> I take it personally sometimes, but I have to tell myself it's not real, you know, it's, it's just a tick. Madness. The guy's insane. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> a tick is defined as having an urge to do something, a repetitive action, that can be suppressed, at least for a short period of time, but eventually uh, it has to be completed for a feeling of relief. But Paul doesn't just tick around Carol. He constantly ticks around their children. I despair sometimes because I'll, I'll be saying things and I'm thinking, it's, it's, not, it's not right. I love my kids. Kellogg's cornflakes. Bollocks. Paul has become virtually shut in. I get very anxious about leaving the house. Just a trip to the grocery store is a major ordeal. You're fit. <laughs> <coughs> hey. Fishy funny. <coughs> Knowing his behaviour is taboo to many makes Paul feel vulnerable. I need some nappies. <coughs> like an outsider, an outcast. <coughs> People often treat Tourette's behaviour as taboo, I think because it seems mentally ill. They think the person is doing that because they're crazy. Hey. Sign your life away, Satan. Or maybe the person is violent. Maybe they're going to hurt them. 
about 10% of people with Tourette's have a symptom of Tourette's called coprolalia, which is a sort of involuntary swearing or cursing. The thing that seems most antisocial to people is the swearing and rude gestures. The loudness of the tick may seem directed to specifically antagonize people. Usually when I'm walking along and I see a man and his wife, my tick will go, homo. And it's not a nice thing to say to somebody. I've had people say to me, do I look gay? Homo. Hey. French. <laughs> Someone's overweight, sometimes I'll go gastric band. Now, I wouldn't want to say anything like that to anybody. I don't want to offend anybody or upset anybody. As the price. <laughs> As to why it's inappropriate, why that's what comes out, I don't know. I get distressed when I'm out if, if I say something that's derogatory to somebody. <laughs> Wanker. Uh -huh. It's a social disability, and it's only in and around people that, hey, whew, hallelujah, uh -huh, uh -huh, that, it, that it seems to accelerate and gets worse. Well, I think Tourette's sufferers are marginalized, not because the behaviors are necessarily antisocial, but they're perceived as antisocial. Do you know I'm gay? Hey, hey. Tourette's is definitely misunderstood by the public. If people do understand it, they realize that they don't mean to hurt people, they don't mean to be offensive, and that essentially it's uncontrollable. Ah, cheers. Thanks a lot. Thanks for your patience. Hey! <clears throat> Tourette's is as hard for Paul's family as it is for him. His life is restricted. We can't always do things with the children that we'd like to do. Sometimes I have to go off on my own and do it, and I'd much rather we did it as a family, you know. Wank! Mm. Oh. Tourette's can tear families apart. OK, there you go, there's your prescription. Poorly. So Paul's taking action with pals he met at a Tourette's support group. With Stuart Colquhoun on the left and John Davidson on the right, he's setting up a charity, Tourette's Lifelong Care, or TLC. They're fighting back. Oh my God, you fat too! They're travelling to Arisaig, 240 miles away on the west coast of Scotland to look for a sanctuary for Tourette's sufferers and their families. It's a Tourette's road trip. Don't text while driving, don't risk it! Hey. John and Stuart are really important to me. First time I met him, yes. I was really, really nervous. We were coming up this road here, 82. Yeah, I saw that, that's open obviously, isn't it? Right, oh, oh this way. Glass blowing bastards! But when John and Stu started ticking to me, I was like, hey, I'm not fat. Hey, I'm not bald. <laughs> Who are you calling stupid? And and it was good for me because it gave me a, a view to see myself as other people do. I feel like I've, I've 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 got a new family. The trip is also a big deal for John. What we're hoping to get out of this trip is to find somewhere for people with Tourette's syndrome to come and enjoy a holiday and, and not feel, you know, threatened by people staring and, you know, making horrible comments. We've got just as much right to go on holiday as anyone else. En route, they pick up supplies for a planned fishing trip. <coughs> hey. Welcome to the pleasure door. <laughs> <laughs> Touch me penis, it's great. There's a fat guy. <laughs> One tick can trigger many. We bounce off each other. Hey, hey, hey! Sorry. Sorry, mate. All right, okay. Hey, sorry. We've Next. got guns. <laughs> Arms robbery. We've got to smell a piss in here. It's me. It's, it's the me. best shop in Scotland. She claps on the wing, you maniac. They could take medication, but choose not to because it saps their energy. The most effective medicine for Tourette's is something that blocks dopamine. And that's exactly why people don't want to take it, because it blocks all their motivation. They may be sleepier, more passive. They reach the campsite. They've chosen this spot because the owner's daughter has Tourette's. Hey, nice to meet you, Paul. 
Oh, we I can come show here. you the holiday, huh. the holiday houses maybe on Saturday yeah. morning yeah. when I'm cleaning them right. and see what it would be like for, for bringing and, kids and yes, families. Yes, definitely. I think it's finding somewhere to, yeah. where, you can, where we can be accepted and, and the children yeah. aren't going to be judged. And, hey. Absolutely. Well, judged! Here, everybody, it's... it's can we walk off a cliff? <laughs> cliff who? Richard! You're like two kids in a tea shop! Hey! Oh, I can see for miles. Double entendres, French and Saunders. Oh! <laughs> <Wee>. Stop! <laughs> You'll never ever. Ah, you got me! Ah. <laughs> I want to find a crab. You've got him in your pants, you. <laughs> Do you know that I was I once think, French? But Tourette's is no walk in the park. <laughs> Um, leaving the flat one night, there was two kind of guys that I knew one of them to talk to, and as I approached them, the big guy stepped forward and says, ah, every time my girlfriend goes past, she hears you shouting and swearing at her. And I'm saying, oh, come on, you know the score, I've got Tourette's. He started beating me up with a crowbar, I was hit, hit with the head three times with a crowbar. And if we can uh, yeah. The inaugural oh, Tourette's yeah. lifelong care board meeting is a torrid affair. <laughs> Shut up! Off your homo. Hey, 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 There's an element of lack of control that once they've started and it becomes incessant, the more frustrated I become. I'm fully aware of what I'm doing, but I haven't got the ability to stop them. The next morning, they head to the local fishing spot. Just not the road. See this f today, man. It's their last day at Arisag. Good morning, Vietnam! They decide this spot is more Tourette's friendly than others they've been to. Remember the camps that we were on up at the Tain Lone? They all had to move a caravan, put us yep. right off the site. Other people on the site had complained to the management right. about us checking them. What I like about it is that we've, we've been made to feel welcome. Mm -hmm. That's right, yeah. Makes a huge difference. It makes a huge difference. Can I have my breakfast gone? Paul's friendship with John and Stuart makes Tourette's bearable. But it's called camaraderie. We've all got the same goals for the future, and a lot of it is with helping other people. Tourette's lifelong care is on the road. As they head home, they're optimistic they can make a difference. This morning I woke up and I thought, yeah, that would be good. If we can sort something out where we can take kids and families with Tourette's, they're going to come away and the, the batteries are going to be charged and they're going to be ready to face the world back to school and, you know. Being around people who've got Tourette's gives me a sense of belonging. I've been given an identity because I've never really known who Paul Stevenson was, never understood myself, never been understood by other people. And Paul Stevenson has got Tourette's syndrome. That's me, Dad. 